What's going on gangsters? Welcome to your 171st Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to get into is actually start developing some kind of object that we can display within our uh, OpenGL uh, class here. And I know I told you guys we were going to develop a cube, but uh, as for now I don't want to jump into 3D. I just want to get the basic concepts. You know, developing a cube is so old school, it's like so square, you know. But uh, I want to go into the basic concepts and just develop a triangle, a 2D object, and then we'll get into the 3D since it's pretty much the same but a little bit different. Um, and what, we're, what I'm going to do is just kind of talk about some of the concepts using Blender here, which is a 3D modeling uh, software, animation software, all that good stuff. And it's free, so if you guys are interested in that, I'd recommend Blender if you, if you don't want to spend the money on like 3D Studio Max or anything like that. And as you can see here, we have a cube, which we, again we aren't developing, we're developing a square, or I'm sorry, we're developing a triangle. But with OpenGL, just some of the concepts that we can do is we can set the actual camera view. So um, if this like gray area here is our phone's device, we can say, hey, we want the camera to be closer to the object here, so you know our object appears larger. Or we can say we want our camera way back here, so our object smaller. We can also scale the actual object itself, all that good stuff. So that's why we set up kind of the renderer class. That's going to handle some of those uh, type properties that we're going to work with. But now let's just get into the basic concepts of 3D programming and what what we're going to need to know. Again, here's just a cube, and we can rotate around it. Um, but that's a 3D object. So as for now, we're just going to work with 2D, and I'm just going to switch to like the front view here. And the cube has four vertices. A vertice is just basically a point. Um, like a point here, a point here, a point here, and a point here. And then it's connected and filled and it's shaded, all that good stuff. What we're going to do is we're going to create a triangle. So we're only going to have three points. And how this works is we have an X axis and a Y axis. Uh, the X axis goes to the right, is positive, to the left is negative. The Y axis is positive up and negative down. Uh, which we'll get into a little bit later but just for example this point right here would be like negative one um, in the x direction comma positive one in the y direction so that's that would be this point so we, we're gonna create some vertices in this tutorial uh, and eclipse but uh, you know that's just how this is gonna work and again just like for example this point is one in the x direction and one in the y direction then we have one in the x direction negative one in the y direction etc so let's just jump over to Eclipse. Um, hopefully you guys kind of understood what I was trying to ex explain there. And again, I told you guys we're going to create a triangle, so you need to set up a new class called GL Triangle Example or EX. And probably all we're going to do in this tutorial is set up some of those vertices or some of those points that we're going to connect and fill in later. So how we're going to do this is we're going to create a float array. So we're just going to say we're going to say private because Again, since we have this triangle class, everything's going to be, for the most part, private in here because um, we aren't going to allow other uh, classes to change some of these vertices and stuff like that. So we're going to set these vertices to private, and it's going to be of the type float, and we're going to say vertices. And uh, again, we just put those brackets to say that we're having a list or an array of some sort. Then we do our opening bracket, and let's define the points that we want to map out. And also we just are going to finish our statement here and then we're going to define the points. So for example we want our triangle to have a point of like here, here, and then right in the center up here. And we're going to have to remember some of these points. What we're going to do is we're going to start at this top point here and work our way around uh, you know, clockwise like that. So let's develop our first vertice in Eclipse. And so again, the first or the top part of the triangle, the x direction is going to be 0. And we're just going to say f for float. And the first, uh, you know, the y direction is going to be a positive 1 because it's going up. So we're just going to say 1f as well. And then, you know, we can set up our next vertice here as well, or like, you know, uh, 1 or whatever. And, but you know it gets kind of confusing when you look back at your code and all that stuff so what we're going to do is we're just going to hit enter and start a new line so we know hey yeah we're working with a 2D object with X and the Y direction and that's our first point so you can even leave a comment here like point 0.1 or something like that or actually this would be point 0.0 
um, because again in computers you always start with 0, 1, 2, etc. And then we're going to create our second point so that's going to be at the reference 1 in the x direction and comma negative 1 and in the y direction. And we can again leave a comment like point 0.1 uh, for our last point it was negative 1 in the x direction and uh, negative 1 in the y direction as well and we're just going to say point 0.3 and also we have to I'm sorry I forgot to uh, you know set this equal to what we want so we're just going to set this equal uh, to this bracket here so yeah so that's why we're getting those errors because um, again, when we define an instance of a class, we have to you know set it equal to something. So these are our three points again. And why did I put point three? Just messing up everywhere. Um, and uh, that's point two. So again, let's just look at these. Um, just quick over, just a quick tutorial. Uh, nothing too complicated. Uh, but again, just to understand these principles of 3D programming. Um, our first point is zero in the x direction. So and try and show it in Blender here and one in the y direction so like right here will be our first point and uh, then the second point will be one negative one so it's gonna be like one and then negative one which will be right here same corner as that square for the most part and then for third point it's gonna be negative one in the x direction negative one in the y direction so right here and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna like you know connect it and then fill it in and you know all that good stuff so that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys uh, just a basic introduction to 3d um, programming or actually I should say 2d programming at the moment but uh, there we go and I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial have a good one